Hey, what's happening to you guys? Percy and welcome back to another video. So I have been kind of trying to speculate and think about what Sega could be announcing this year going forward because as you guys know, they've teased a thing on their official website that on the 20th of every single month, they're going to be releasing bits and tidbits as to what they're planning to do. Now, a lot of people have been speculating two things. Obviously, the first one is that they're going to be teasing a little bit of the mainline next Sonic game throughout the next year which is going to be pain in the ass because I don't want them to tease it I just want them to release a teaser trailer and just be done with it and the second one that people have been speculating is that we're not just getting one game but two games the next mainline Sonic game and obviously a remaster for Sonic Adventures 1 and 2 now I have speculated that they might go with Sonic Adventures 1, 2 and maybe Heroes like a trilogy thing but I, I doubt they'll do something like that so maybe a I guess Sonic Adventures 1 and 2 double pack would be enough, but yeah, I would like to see it and I think that would be a saving grace for them and a safe bet as well, seeing as they can't fuck it up. It's impossible, they have the blueprint. All they have to do is just sharpen up the potential. Now, and obviously when I say sharpen up the potential, I mean like, you know, make it seem a little bit better, add some new quality of life stuff to make it seem a little bit great, but don't fuck it up to the point where you'll piss off the only remaining fan base that haven't been pissed off, the adventure fan base. So anyways, aside from that, what I've been speculating in terms of what the mainline Sonic game could be, I've seen a lot of people kind of saying that they should move away from the boost mechanics because we've had the boost mechanics for almost 15 years now, I believe. I don't know. I think the first boost mechanic came out in 2008, so we've had the boost mechanic for quite some time now and people have been speculating that maybe it's time for them to move on to something new now usually when i was growing up and i obviously was a fan of sonic the hedgehog hearing that they're going to be trying something new was always you know exhilarating because the, the difference between sonic and mario is that sonic always tries to innovate itself it's always trying to push what the franchise can do these days there i don't know how i feel about m innovating anything because here's why i'm so scared they made Sonic Forces, and the reason why I fucking hate the game, like, I truly despise Sonic Forces for a number of reasons, but the, I guess the biggest one, the principle of it all is that they had, before Sonic Forces, they made Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generation, and Sonic Colors. Three really great games, in my opinion, and they somehow went from those greatness to fucking Sonic uh, Forces, and that's just unacceptable for me. It's like... How do you fall so far from grace, my G? Like, how do you do that? How do you just go from having such an amazing um, level design in Sonic Unleashed, amazing mechanics in Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, and then go to Sonic Forces where you only have to hold down the boost button to complete a stage? It was the first Sonic game where I genuinely felt like I think it's time for me to just abandon this franchise altogether, like, but. If they're going to be going for a new mechanic with this new main line Sonic game, I think that they, the safest bet, I believe, would, would be to go back to the momentum um, mechanics and just try to build up on top of that. Because if they do something completely different, because there's nothing else that they can do in terms of boost mechanic. Do you know what I mean? What can you do? I don't want there to be too many gimmicks because that's what's been killing Sonic for the past couple of years now. It, he has no identity, so all these gimmicks, they don't, they're not helping. They're just fucking damping the guy and just making him seem like he has no personality. This next Sonic mainline game needs to be focused on just Sonic. Like I, at this point I know a lot of people would like to see other characters show up but if they're gonna show up at least make them useful but, but for the most part I don't know it's, it's a bit of a complication right there. But the main the one character that I do not want to see show up and I think this, like, this goes for everybody. I don't care if this is the 30th anniversary of Sonic. Keep classic Sonic fucking away from modern Sonic. Give him his own game. Give him Sonic Mania 2 for all the classic fanboys and just leave them at that. But don't mesh the two up together. It just doesn't work out anymore. We've had it in Sonic Generation. We've had it in Sonic Forces. We've had enough. We've had enough. Just keep those two fucking characters away from each other. Let Sonic, modern Sonic, breathe. Let him move forward. Or, one of the things I've been seeing people speculate is that they're trying to abandon modern Sonic. And just use classic Sonic going forward because a lot of people seem to really like classic Sonic. And I, somewhat from a from design point of view, I do prefer, not prefer, hold up. <laughs> I do like the design for classic Sonic, but obviously that's not how we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to be going backwards, we're supposed to be going forward. Sonic is always going forward, whatever. But, anyways. 
the 20th of every single month we should be having some news or getting something now keep in mind they're gonna be adding a bunch of fluff to kind of make those days seem a little bit more exciting but for the most part I don't know what they're gonna be doing. Uh, for me, I just don't. I'm just hoping that they don't fuck it up at this point because it's the 20th anniversary. They're hyping it up, and I, I kind of feel like they shouldn't be hyping it up. They don't have. Here's the thing, they don't actually have the right to be hyping up anything. They fucked up so many times now that them celebrating an anniversary now feels like they're celebrating. Uh, what's the word for someone who's died? The anniversary of someone who's died. It's so that's what they're doing to me. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited? Are you worried? What's the plan here? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm Paris and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.